Inside this box is this really cool looking miniature desktop fridge. It's powered from this USB plug and there's a switch with two settings. I'm going to show you a whole host of really fun ways to stay cool this summer. You can let me know which is your favourite in the comments. And if you enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing. This mini fridge is the perfect size for a regular can of drink. So if you've got to be sat at your desk all day, but want to cool down a nice beverage, you can just plug it into the USB port on your computer, turn on the switch and place in your drink. To see how well it works, I'm leaving another can outside of the fridge, and after an hour I'm opening them up to measure the temperature difference. This room temperature one measured 21.9 degrees C, that 71.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I removed the can from the fridge, and straight away I can tell it feels cold. I gave it a quick temperature reading, and the thermometer dropped straight down to 12.8 degrees C. That's 55 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> That's amazing, and you can see the difference as I switch between cans. If I take a look inside the fridge, you can see condensation all over the base plate. But one thing I did notice was the top of the can feels a lot warmer than the bottom, and I was able to prove this by raising and lowering the thermometer through the drink. But of course you could just turn the unopened can upside down in the fridge half an hour before you drink it to cool it down more evenly. If you're having a party outside, or going for a picnic or something, you can use a couple of ice bags to make your own cool box. Once you get to your destination, just open up your box of drinks, remove all the bottles, then take your ice cubes out of the carrier bag and use it to line the box. Replace all your bottles, then just tip over all your ice cubes. And there we go, we've got this really simple DIY ice box. Perfect for keeping your drinks nice and cool. But next I want to show you this gadget. It's a manually operated ice shaver. I've never used one before, so I thought we should test it out. Opening it up, it comes with this ice cube tray, pretty standard thing. And here's the ice shaver. The top part comes off, and we've got this sturdy feeling catch tank underneath. It's got a rubber ring around the outside, so it grips the work surface. Taking a look at the top section, we've got these blades on the bottom, which rotate as we turn the handle and it has a plunger at the top which we can remove and see the blades. And to try it out, we first need to make some ice. I'm using the tray that came with the kit, and after a couple of hours, I had 15 nice cold cubes. So, to use this shaver, we remove the plunger and fill the top up with ice. Unfortunately, it's only big enough to fit two cubes each side of the centre plate, but we can always add more later. Next, we need to place the plunger back on top and keep a little bit of downwards pressure applied whilst we rotate the handle. And straight away, we start making ice shavings. Keep turning the handle, and it doesn't take long to shave all four of the ice cubes. It's actually really cool, and it feels like we're making snow. Once the plunger is all the way down and we've pushed all the ice cubes through, we can remove the top, and let's see what we've got. Wow, check it out! It's like amazing ice crystals! I'm going to use these to make a delicious ice slushy drink. The quickest way to make a slushy is to just fill a glass up, then pour over some cordial. But if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll show you my recipe for making some delicious fresh fruit slushies. Now here's a great trick you can do with little yoghurt pots. Carefully use a knife to make a little slice in the top, then place a teaspoon down into the carton. I did this with all six, then pop them into the freezer, and a few hours later when they're all frozen, you've got a delicious cold summer snack. Mmm, frozen yoghurt. And here's another great trick. Take a Ziploc freezer bag and fill it with fruit. Remove any stalks first. I'm using strawberries and grapes. And when you're done, pop it in the freezer. Then the next time you want a cold drink, just take out the bag and drop a couple into your glass. Unlike ice, these won't melt and dilute your drink. Instead, they'll slowly thaw and add more flavour. And if you're drinking white wine, for instance, you can cool it down with white grapes. But if you need to cool down a whole bottle quickly, you can take a couple of sheets of kitchen paper and wrap it around the bottle, then give it a quick soak underneath the tap and squeeze off any excess moisture. Place the bottle in the freezer, and after about 15 minutes, you should find it's all really nice and cold. Or maybe you've seen these beer chilling sticks. I'll show you what they are. Open up the box, and we've got these two long stainless steel probe looking things. They're actually filled with some liquid, and you can hear it when I give it a shake. And the idea is to keep them in the freezer. I'm opening up a drink that's not been in the fridge, and I'm using this digital food thermometer to take a temperature reading. It gives us a resting temperature of 21.7 degrees C, which is 71.1 degrees Fahrenheit. When we take these chill sticks out of the freezer, you can see straight away that they develop a cold frost of condensation on the outside, and I'm pushing one straight down into the bottle. Okay, so the first thing I notice is the displacement instantly pushes out some drink. 
So to make sure we don't waste any more, I'm pouring some out into a glass, then inserting the cooler again. It fits nicely in, and let's see how well it works. So what's really cool about these chill sticks is there's actually a hole in the top which allows you to drink your drink while it's inside the bottle cooling. There's a rubber seal around the top, so it seals onto the bottle. After a few minutes, I insert the thermometer through these holes into the drink to take another reading. And amazingly, it's dropped the temperature down to 14.9 degrees C. That's 58.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a big temperature drop, and it does feel nice and cold now. You can either drink it straight through the chill stick, or pour it into a glass. And what's amazing is if we measure the temperature of the chill stick now, it comes out at 13.5 degrees C, so it will continue to cool down the drink. Next I'm going to look at this USB clock fan. Open up the packaging, and it actually feels really nicely made. There's a bit of weight to it. Here are the fan blades, and you can see on this one there's an embedded circuit board with mini LED lights. There's a little push button on the side here, and a USB plug on the other end. I'm plugging it into my computer, then you can angle it to whatever direction you like. Turn it on, the fan starts spinning, then it slowly illuminates a clock face. How cool is that? If you need to, you can rotate the body to change the orientation of the clock face, and you can set the time by keeping your finger on the button. Look at that, that's really cool. It gives off a nice airflow, and you've got this amazing floating clock face. But I also want to show you this handheld desktop fan. I removed everything out of the box, and here's the fan. If we take a look inside, there's actually two fan blades. Supposedly, this helps move a lot of air. Just press the button here on the front to start it, and there's actually three speed settings. Wow, that really does blow. It comes with this lead to charge it straight from a USB socket. It just plugs straight into the fan, and there's a little LED indicator to show it's charging. And it also comes with this stand, too. What's cool is you can just place it down on the desk, put the fan in the holder, and angle it around so it's pointing at you. And if we take a closer look at the holder, you can see it's got this little curled up lip at the bottom, and this part acts as a phone holder. Huh, that's quite clever. And the fan itself is just about portable enough to slide inside your pocket if you want to. Huh, that really is pretty cool. Now here's some great ways to use watermelon to keep you cool. I kept this one in the fridge so it's already nice and cold. Then chop it in half, and place one half upside down on a chopping board. Then slice it up lengthways, like this. Once you're done, turn it 90 degrees, and slice it again, like this. We've now got these really delicious cold watermelon sticks, which you can pull out and munch. They're great for a party or something. You may have seen me using this clever watermelon windmill cutter in a previous video. Well, here's a great thing to do if you've got any leftover watermelon. Scoop out all the remaining fruit, and fill up a blender. I'm also taking a slice of lemon, removing the pips and adding that, then I picked some fresh mint, then I put that on top, and it's ready to blend. And once you've given it a whirl, you might find you've only got half a jug, but you can always add some more fruit, and give it another blend. And after it settles, you can pour out these delicious watermelon smoothies. I'm serving mine with a sprig of mint, and a small slice of melon on the side of the glass. It's nice and healthy, and it tastes delicious. And something else you can do with a smoothie is turn it into ice lollies. These moulds are really good. They clip into a base to stop them falling over, and you get six all together. I made sure they were all firmly in place, then decanted some of the smoothie into this smaller jug. This makes it easier to pour, and I filled up the moulds. If you like, you can fill some up just three quarters full, then also add a couple of slices of fruit into the mould. The tops just clip on as well, then they're ready to freeze. And the next day, you'll have these amazing watermelon lollies, perfect for keeping you cool. And now here's my recipe for making delicious fresh fruit slushies. As a base for this one, I'm also using fresh watermelon. I removed the fruit, sliced it up, and added it into a jug, because we were going to blend it into a drink. Next I used this gadget to remove the stalks from some strawberries, and I added five to the jug. Then I removed the stalk from a cherry, and used a glass bottle and a chopstick to push out the pit. It's a really cool life hack. It works well and fires the pit into the bottle. So, once you've done a handful, add them into the jug, and I'm using a hand blender to mix it all into a drink. Next I'm taking a mango, and cutting each side of the pit, and you can either use a large spoon to remove the fruit from the skin, or you can slide it over the edge of a drinking glass like this. Cut off any extra fruit that you can from the pit, place it all into a fresh jug, and add a little water. Give it all a good blend, and we've now made delicious mango flavoured smoothie. Next, I'm half filling these two glasses with some ice shavings, then pour over our fruit puree. I'm doing one of each flavour. 
Top up the glass with some more shaved ice, then pour over the contrasting juice so we've got red over yellow and yellow over red. Serve it with a drinking straw so you can swirl it together and mix it in. Our delicious natural fruit slushies. If you'd like to see some of these really cool hot dog gadgets, you can take a look by clicking on the link here. Or maybe you'd like to see some of my other videos. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.